Okay, in this section we are going to see on how array dot length may not be really that good whenever we are trying to use it in almost all the scenarios. So it is something like array dot length is pretty much whatever we can do in order to find the length of the array which means it counts the number of elements available in an array. However, there will be situations like it could be really ending up with really no proper information whenever we use array.length. So which means we can run into scenarios where array.length is not really giving proper values or proper count. So we need to consider certain scenarios whenever we are using array.length and not fall into a victim of having a complete very good length or very good uh, what is a number of elements to be always shown to the user. So first of all, we all knew that whenever I say length and to be used as an array, so which means yeah, to be used with an array, it essentially gives the number of items in an array. So this is a common practice. So if the array one is an array, length is the property which is supposed to give us the number of items available in that array and finally it will be showing the value inside n. But in reality, it is not quite that well in all scenarios. So which means in not all scenarios, it is going to give us the length properly. So first of all, it does not work properly with associative arrays. So for example, let us consider I have an associative array defined in this way. So I'm having four elements stored in four different uh, indexes. And whenever I say emp.length, I will be expecting four as because I have four memory allocations as part of the array but in fact it gives zero. So it is very important to understand that whenever you use associative arrays those allocations with respect to the string indexes are not going to be counted whenever you use dot length. Next. Arrays with numeric indexes have some default characteristics. So which means whenever you declare or work with numeric indexes, there are a couple of important things we really need to consider. The first thing is that if you add an element using numeric index, the array allocates for all of the previous indexes if they have been not allocated already. So which means imagine I have an array one and currently it is empty and the next immediate statement is array 3. So which means I am placing some value inside array 3 just immediately once it has been declared. Usually we go with array 1 of 0, array 1 of 2, array 1 of, I mean array 1, sorry, array of 0, array of 1, array of 2 and so on till we go to 3. But imagine we directly declare 3 and we haven't provided any values for 0, 1 and 2 positions. And now we are going to see different result whenever we say length. So again there is one more scenario whenever you mix the numeric indexes together with the string based indexes so which means this and this whenever you mix together you are going to have a different count as part of the length. So this is one scenario you will have to keep in mind and it is not at all a good idea to really have various kinds of indexes to be mentioned in the same kind of an array. So which means it is not really a good idea to have numeric based indexes and string based indexes to be made available as part of the same array and it is not that good in general. Okay, so let us uh, deal with a couple of options whatever we have here. So uh, let us go through the demo and uh, we will be checking out array.length associative array uh, which means we will be working with associative array and see what are all the differences it, we may find using array.length and how array.length can really go wrong in a couple of ways. So let me create a new file. Let me call this one as 06 for a second. And I have script. And now let us consider I am creating an array, something like this. And now I would like to say 
employee number equal to 1001 and employee so for example uh, employee name equal to Jack and something else like salary equal to something like this and department number something like accounting so it doesn't need to be department number we could also call it a department in this case so imagine I have an associated array declared something in this fashion and now let us consider um, a couple of buttons here input type equal to button and then value is going to be button 1 so which means that is the caption just I put some dummy caption there but on click I would like to execute something like button 1 click so that is going to the function which I'm going to develop now so let me let me define the definition here so this is going to be the function I'm going to work on and all I would like to do is just say alert emp dot length so let us quickly check on what's going on and the moment I click on that and you can see the it shows as if there are no elements at all in the array but we are pretty sure actually we have four elements so it is not at all a good idea to use the length property against an associative array or an array having the string indexes so in the next scenario so let us go with the button 2 so let us call this one as button 2 click and let me define another array and I would like to call this one as array 1 in this case and I would like to have an empty array to be defined so usually in order to have any kind of elements we start with zero but let us consider I start with three directly so and see what's going on so I will provide something like something and now on clicking of button two on clicking of button two I would like to find the length of this particular array to be shown so usually we'll be expecting something like there is only one element in the array logically so which means the length is supposed to be one but what happens is that the moment I execute this and test it you can see it says four so why we have four here is because the third means you haven't defined zero one two and JavaScript automatically adds all the previous indexes, creates those elements, whether or not you are using the indexes. So in fact, if you say array of thousand, it will be exactly creating thousand and one locations, even though you use only one location. So if you provide a particular index, and if the previous indexes are not filled in the same array it actually creates all those indexes and all those elements whether you use them or not and finally the length is going to be what it really counts with respect to all the indexes currently allocated together so it is very important to note that length whenever you use with uneven indexes will have to be careful so let us worry about another scenario so in this case I am going to have a array 2 which is an empty array by default and now I am going to have something like array of 3 with something and now array of 2 with some string based index and in this case I would like to say something like time or something and now let us have another button and in this case I call it as 3 and button click 3 and now I have 3 here and I would like to find the length of array 2 so we already knew that you know if something like 3 is already there with no allocations to 0, 1, 2 it automatically allocates all the previous locations so we are sure at this moment that it is supposed to be 4 and on top of that we are adding one more element in the form of string based index 
and that is supposed to be the fifth one but let us see how it is going to look like so instead of showing five it is actually showing four as I mentioned earlier none of the array elements which are having the string indexes will be counted as part of length so that is the reason I have only four till here and this is not at all counted so we will have to be pretty much optimistic about using length whenever we are using the string based indexes or uneven in numeric indexes or mixing both of those which may not be really necessary. Thank you.